sneaker review. Hello. So today, Elise and I, I'm a, so I'm a sneakerhead, which means I collect shoes for a living because I've been wearing shoes all my life. And I'm a sneaker ass because I she's not don't that, know she's, shit about she's not sneakers. that She's not that girl. So our first pair today is Panda Dunks. Look at this extremely nice close-up. Holy shit. Oh, that's a good I know. quality. <laughs> anyway, these are my most worn pairs. I wear them every day. It's a pretty basic shoe. And look, I don't care if number one rule is don't increase your shoes. But crazily enough, I wear shoes every day. And how are you supposed to not crease your shoes? Mm. I don't go out of side of the house without wearing shoes, right? So like, I kind of need to wear them. Yeah. So out of 10, what are you going to rate them? I feel like these are very practical. They can kind of go with anything you wear. And I also like the way that Dylan initially Ooh. had different colored laces. But if you like see, mm, good quality. If you see like, it's actually cream colored. Mm. And, and usually like the stock laces are black. Yeah. So you know we're a little so bit unique. I might give it out of 10. I'm also a high rate I think. But I might give it like a 9 out of 10. Oh, is that too high? I don't know. I think the other shoes are cooler. But, but I reckon for a pretty basic shoe that you can kind of match any fit with, like it's a solid, a solid seven. Okay, next shoe. We're gonna continue with the dunks for the moment, but these are. Oh, I prefer these ones. The dunk. I'll put it on screen, but I forgot the name. These are. I got it from these for basically retail because he's a cop god like that. But these are really beaten, as you can see. I've kind of creased them. They're like, he wears these every day. Like, you can look at that wear and tear. Very, oh, they're part of the next nature. So, you know, we're saving the environment. But I actually really like these ones. So, I'm also going to give it a nine at, oh, wait, shit, maybe I'm. <laughs> nine again. I'll, I'll, give this an, I'll give this an eight. You know, I'm going to change the other one to an eight out of ten. And this one is a nine out of ten. Mm. So, we like this pair. We like this pair. I can't rock dunks as much because. My feet are so small that it just looks so weird. Also, I only wear platform shoes, so. All right, next stop. Yeah. Stop playing with me. We got the Nike Dunk High Side Caruso. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but these are the 2019 ones. Come on. They are bright orange. These are 10 out of 10 shoe. I am modeling this product. I'm you know, you might think that these are really hard to wear. But they're not that hard to wear. Like, no, I feel like they're nice if you have some kind of like plain outfit. But then by wearing this, you give it like a little pop, a little flavor. I think flavor. that too. It, it accents if your you pieces. May. So, you know, you don't want too expensive a dunk and you kind of want to get into shoes. Good shoe to get into. Okay, I'll give it a solid. Labels. I don't know. Actually, a seven. I personally really like the color orange. But, um... <laughs> No, you know, Actually, it's not it. It's, I'll give it a seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven as well. Give seven. But look, they're kind of creased as well. <laughs> I don't... Okay, so Dylan I don't wear... someone who does not care. I don't wear crease guards only because I don't believe... Like, no, they're uncomfy. Okay, but honestly, I find it kind of cringe when someone's like, don't crease your shoes. Don't yeah. Crease. Like, honey, I'm wearing my shoes. I'm going to crease them. Hate me all you want, but I sell shoes. And as a sneaker reseller, I don't even care. And, and also, why are you shoes? hating on other Crease. people creasing their shoes? Worry about your own shoes, mister. Facts. Exactly. Okay. Ooh. We got one of my favorite pairs. And I got these off release. The Strawberry Milk Wait, I want to do the... Okay, you do it. Beautiful. Ooh. And a little hint. It showed them the ingredient list on it. Ingredient list. Ingredients. These are the Nike Dunk Social Status Collab. Collab. We are the collab gods. I, okay, I actually really like these shoes because, oh, do you have the box? I don't have the box, but I'll show a picture okay. of it. Okay, anyways, the box is so cool. It literally came, like, what was it? Like a cereal box? It's a cereal box. A cereal box, and it also had the ingredients, I think. And I'm not sure if you can see the swoosh, but it's like very, it's like a, it's like a bubble. Also, like the textures on everything, like Dylan said, it's a bubble. But inside there is like milk, like the cereal, you know. Mm. And then you have 
like this the nice vel felt. velvet yeah. material. So and overall, I don't wear this shoe. Also the leg. Only because I am so scared of ruining it. This was a US release only. These ones he don't crease. Yeah, we don't we don't crease we don't these. Crease. We don't wear these. We don't wear these. Yeah. And they're actually pretty hard to wear. But a dunk mid, very rare to see. I think um, these shoes are very cool, and I like the whole cereal idea to it and mm. the ingredient idea to it. Um, except just because it's kind of hard to wear, and I'm thinking practicality, like maybe seven. Actually, no, these surely got to be better than the orange ones. Maybe like an eight. I rate these a nine in my books. They are so beautiful. They're really cool though. So. So yeah. Those Personally, are <laughs> I wouldn't wear them though, I think. That's the end of my Dunk collection. End of the Dunk but collection. But now we've got these beautiful Yeezys. You do the product reveal. Ooh. Ooh. What are they called? These are called Yeezy 350 Sesames. And... I like the trunk on here. I've had these shoes for quite a while. And Yeezys are always just a Ooh. nice shoe. The texture's quite nice and it's always... These you know are quite what? I actually wear. like these. It's got like cushion on the back of mm. it and it's also like the way that it like slips in that's yeah. quite cool. and i think yeezys are just like a nice shoe yeah they're just a nice shoe to rock i think these are nice because they just look simple obviously they're not really the t kind of shoes that you like style yeah but they seem like nice you know you're in pajamas i'm rocking these no no cap but yeah i give it like a six seven Six, point six. I give it like six a solid five. seven and not seven. No, I do really like these, but I'm just saying like because I'm thinking of mm. how you would style it. That's true. Maybe like a six point five. We are both pretty into. Fashion. Also, I'm. I've just decided that I need to start rating stuff a bit lower so that, mm. like. We well, still have so many more left. Exactly. Next. The dinosaurs. We have the best shoe in my collection. No kitty. Look at this. Guys. First of all, I don't think Bella Hadid looks good in these shoes. I look good in them. No, you look like a dinosaur. Oh no, but these are the Yeezy Forerunners like MX just... Sand. They're beautiful, aren't they? Like, <laughs> I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't know. I think the concept is really cool. I just, I like wearing them because I feel like funky in them, but it's, it's kind of weird. But you know what this kind of reminds me of? Like melted ice cream. But I do like it because it's just like funky. But it's a, it's like I wouldn't wear it. I think it's pretty chill. Like it's I a would, pretty okay, chill I, shoe. I would wear this at home, like inside my mm. house for fun. But like I wouldn't wear it out ever. So it was, it's kind of pointless, especially because it's like hella expensive. I think it's like when people wear Yeezy slides, I much rather wear these. Like I feel cooler. Like they're a replacement for like slides. Yeah. Like on the beach, I'm wearing these. Alright, so I rate these a I solid think, nine. I think I prefer just Crocs. I, I rate these a nine. What do you rate them? Um, they get a six. Alright, six is one of my less hyped sneakers that I feel like are the super underrated is. Oh, I like these. The New Balance 2002 R's. These, you can still cop them for retail, so if you like the look of them. This color's a bit funky, though. I actually <laughs> like these a lot. Because I got these color because our school uniform was red. And it was kind of for sports. And I only really wore them for sports. But they're really, they, they're nice. Wait, they feel like very solid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a nice, um, trustworthy shoe that will just get you through the day and at the end of the day you get home you take your shoes off you lie around and you don't have aching feet i have a lot of problem with shoes that that's because your feet are funky bro okay that's true but these look like a, a sturdy sneaker yeah so these are pretty reliable shoes i must say there's better colorways for sure but yeah, i don't like the color though but you know, no, I think the car's nice, but I would never be able to mm, wear But 2002 it. R's are like, they're like the thing, you know what I'm saying? For fashion nerds as well. So I rate this, uh, only because of the colorway. Like, I love the design of the shoe, like a sold seven. One of my favorite pairs, Jordan 4 University Blues. 
Does that so say fly on beautiful. it? Beautiful. Yeah. It says fly. So, I love these shoes with a passion. I love the color, but I barely wear them. And so the story behind these shoes is I bought them when I went thrifting with one of my friends. But the problem with these shoes and why these are usually like six hundred dollars because they're such a hype shoe. But I got them for like I got them for three hundred because there's one defect about it is that the previous owner of the shoe usually I'll put a picture up, but usually there's like another tag here which kind of like sticks out. They cut the tag off the shoe. What? Where? Look, 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 here. They cut the tag off the shoe because it looks, they think it looked better this way, which I actually agree. It does look better without the tag but on the side. But it's because they cut it. But because they cut it, it instantly goes down in value. But I don't care too much because I actually wear my shoes. But I think this is a really nice pair of Jordans, Jordan 4. And, you know, you always need... Are they basketball shoes? Not anymore. But they were made for basketball. But they're for like the pop culture. These I'm not feeling these. What? These are my most expensive shoes. They look nice. Well, I like to say that everyone needs a university blue colorway once in their lifetime, right? I would never wear this. Yeah, I barely wear this. I'm it's not just cap. my problem. It's because I collect shoes. It's cool though, but I would never wear it. Uh, what are you um, rating them? Like six. Six! I'll rate them like an eight. That's high. Like a solid eight. That's high. I feel like people could hate on me for being like, oh wow, you would give such high to the dunks because you're a basic bitch. Last shoe. Jordan oh. 1 high okay, I love perps. these ones. With I, the laces as well. The tie-dye laces. I love these ones. I love these ones. And you want to know why? It's because we got it. I mean, Dylan got it for his 15th birthday right and it was like his first pair my very first shoes very like this first, is what got like, me into sneakers shoe, you know and mom like had this whole story where like <laughs> she met up with this man <laughs> from facebook marketplace and he was like she was like scared because she felt like it was her first meet up illegal and dodgy doing a little meet up you know and sneak a meet up let's see who about finesse but she slayed. She purchased them and, and gifted yeah. them, and they look amazing. My first shoe. So as all first shoes, I try. I wear these quite a bit, and I try not to crease them. Like they're pretty good condition, like the whole thing. Yeah. And I love this pair because my mom gave it to me. It was my first pair. But yeah, what are we rating this? I think a solid ten. Less. I think. I think I have a very big sentimental value towards things that are like your first thing so maybe i'm give it like a 9.5 oh it's dirty i shouldn't do that yeah that's kind of gross <laughs> i give it like a 9.5 9.5 yay that is my sneaker collection thank you for watching this video and if you are a shoe company watching. or clothes company send us free stuff like now so Thank you guys, and I hope you watched this, enjoyed the video. Yeah. Buy me some shoes yeah. as well. We should run away to a bad day. Let the bag, cop a couple tickets, hop in on the plane. Hit a different country with each other, change your last name. Tell me, is you waiting? Cause I'm waiting. Why don't you tell me?